At a WAPA board meeting last week, Executive Director Hugo Hodge Jr. signed off on notification that a federal grant in the amount of $594,820 has been awarded to the utility. Agency heads say they plan to use the money to implement an energy service business unit. According to officials, the main goal of that unit will be to help WAPA's customers start using energy more efficiently and to create renewable energy projects. This is good news for residents concerned with the rising costs of fuel and the levelized energy adjustment clause because it means that WAPA will come directly to your door with energy efficiency advice. Their plan is to start with the commercial customers who will greatly benefit from these energy audits. Experts will go in and make assessments and then retrofits will be made to help reduce energy consumption. They will then go public, helping residential customers who have signed up for the service. Officials say the agency already has about 20 employees trained to do the energy audits that will help teach customers what they can do to reduce their monthly bill. All of this is part of WAPA's goal to meet Governor DeYoung's challenge to reduce the territory's dependency on fossil fuels by 60 percent by the year 2025. Director Hodge in the press release Thursday said the funds should become available sometime next month. Hodge also said the energy service business unit will be a value-added service for all of WAPA's customers. In fact, Hodge hopes the unit once established will even encourage customers to use the website more. Erica Parsons, News 2.